Hey guys, it's Joanna, Naturally Motivated Lady, and today's video is slightly different. I decided to take an Ancestry DNA test, and I'm going to share this moment with you of finding out my results. We're going to look at them together for the first time. And let me preface this by saying that this video is not sponsored and is by no means to promote others to take an Ancestry test. This was my personal decision to find out more about what parts of the world my ancestors came from and where I likely have current relatives. So definitely stick around until the end of the video. And if you're interested in my natural hair and locks or lifestyle videos, then take a second right now and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Quite frankly, I do not know much about my family history. My dad was pretty much adopted by his grandmother and he did not know his father. So besides my dad, I literally only know two people going back on his family tree, which would be his mom and his grandmother. And even though skin complexion doesn't really indicate which ethnic group someone comes from, his mom and grandmother had a very light complexion, while my dad has this very beautiful dark chocolate complexion. <laughs> then on my mom's side, there's likely not any records available that would allow me to track any further back than my great-grandmother. In fact, my great-grandmother was the daughter of a slave. And as we know from recorded history, it was quite common for Black families to be separated during that time. So without getting into an overwhelming amount of details, what I'm saying is that I run into roadblocks on both sides of my family when trying to track my family history. I've always had an interest in my family history, so it really means a lot to me to know where my ancestors are from and to know what part of the world my current relatives live in. Here in the US, I am a black African-American woman and that won't change, <laughs> but it would be great to know and be able to, to learn more about the places and cultures that my ancestors are from. I already love to travel and to visit historic places. And I think knowing my ancestry will help me to really appreciate cultures even more and influence me to keep broadening my knowledge of, about other cultures. And you guys, I love people and I have way too much respect for everyone's culture to be disappointed about any of my results that I uncover today. I could find out that I'm 10% Vulcan and be okay with it. <laughs> really, 10% Vulcan? And by the way, I have done my due diligence in researching DNA privacy and so forth, and I made a personal decision to move forward with the test. All right, so let's get to it. Whew. So this Ancestry DNA test is to determine where my ancestors came from. And this is the box that it came in. I provided a DNA sample and sent it in. Basically, Ancestry DNA has a huge database and they compare my DNA to the DNA of others throughout the world to determine family relationships. Then they estimate and calculate a person's ethnic mix into percentages. All right, so this is really exciting. I'm a little nervous, a little anxious, and even somewhat feeling emotional because many of us African-Americans cannot trace our family history. I remember being in grade school trying to make a family tree and I was highly disappointed y'all. I was highly disappointed because I couldn't go back in history like so many of the other kids were able to do. So yeah, this is very exciting for me. I've, I've been interested in this for so long. A lot of us just don't know where we came from. The only place I'm 100% sure about is Africa and I don't know which countries in Africa that my ancestors are from, and I also don't know what else would be mixed in with my DNA. I do have very tightly coiled Afro textured hair, and I have a darker skin complexion, which isn't necessarily an indication of where I'm from in Africa because African Americans come in a variety of shades. But take a guess, I want you to take a guess. What percentage of African DNA do you think I have? I'm really curious, so take a moment to put it in the comments below and I'll take a guess too. Now, if I had to guess, if I had to guess what percentage African DNA makes up my unique DNA, 
I would say, oh my, um, maybe, possibly, maybe 85%, 85% possibly. But if that's the case, then I would want to know what makes up the rest of my DNA. So we will see in just a minute here. I'm, I'm getting more anxious as I'm getting ready to log on here. I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling a little nervous. All right, so here goes. I'm gonna go ahead and log on to Ancestry.com. Um, <laughs> why am I afraid to look? <laughs> why am I so anxious about looking? Like seriously, let me take a sip of tea. Oh my, this tea is hot and it's making me more hot so yeah okay joanna compose yourself oh, okay welcome joanna thank you for registering with ancestry discover your unique story by building a free family tree da -da 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 -da. with your ancestry dna test you will discover more about your ethnicity and your living relatives Incredible. Wow. <laughs> you guys. Oh my, you guys. Okay. Oh. I've got to share this. Okay. I knew I had a strong connection to Africa, but wow, this is incredible. <laughs> this is so cool to find out this information. I almost feel like crying to know where my family is from. Let me interject to tell you all just what percentage of my DNA is from Africa. I was totally wrong in my estimate. I said 85%. Turns out I am 97% African. So yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> but keep watching to find out which African countries I'm from and what makes up my other 3%. Most of the results for African Americans that I've come across were between 15 to 20 percent something else and that's why i thought my results would be similar also i wanted to mention real quickly that my dad said that his grandmother was part american indian so we'll see if any of that dna was passed on to me so my highest percentage is nigeria 38 percent nigeria apparently is the most populous country in africa where more than 168 million people live in an area about twice the size of California. I did not know that, now I do. But wow, so I'm definitely gonna read up on all of these countries later on. You guys, here's a map of all the geographic locations. In my excitement to find out about all the different countries in the world that make up my DNA, I babbled on for quite a while. So let's fast forward to where I summarize the results. I am 97% African. My DNA, 97% African. Um, with the majority being from Nigeria at 38%, and then 27% Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu peoples, Mali, 25%. And then the percentages decreased from there. Um, Benin and Togo, 4%. Senegal, 2%. And then Ghana, 1%. And then also England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe at 2%. And Indigenous Americas North or Native Americans, 1%. These results are actually really shocking for me because I did not realize I had so much African DNA. It's great to know. And you guys, let me know in the comments what your DNA results were, or if you plan on or would like to, to take the DNA ancestry test. My results also indicate that my DNA matches up with many in the community of Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina African Americans. And this does appear to be very accurate because even though I don't know much about my dad's side of the family, I do know that his mother was born in South Carolina. I knew I had a strong connection to Africa, but I didn't even guess this. Simple enough, 97% African, 
2% European and 1% Native American. If you enjoy my music videos with me playing saxophone and so forth, uh, you can definitely visit my Lady Smooth Sax page and I'll put that link below. And definitely go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, or even share if you'd like to do that. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.